A lot of companies sell products that claim to make a difference in your airplane's performance. Sometimes it's hard to tell if they work, and so AOPA pilot editor at large, Dave Hirschman, put a set of vortex generators to the test with a wingtip to wingtip comparison. Two identical airplanes, same airport, same runway. The only difference, one has micro aerodynamics vortex generators attached to the wings, the other doesn't. Let's see if these simple metal strips really boost performance. Taking off side by side, the VG airplane gets off the ground about 150 feet shorter. Yeah, make it a little more sluggish, those uh, generators. It's a hard to tell, you know, it's, I was off a little bit uh, before uh, you were, but not, by, not dramatically, and in the climb, um, you know, it's like, they seem pretty well matched. In level flight with the power wide open, the airplanes are exactly at the same speed, so there's no penalty in cruise. Now for slow flight. All right, and uh, power is packed out about 1,500 RPM slowing. Then we're slowing through 80 knots, maintaining 3,000 feet, trimming while we're at it to make this as simple as possible. And just gradually bring the power back. Air 65 under your speed, power is coming back gentle. Nose is coming up to maintain altitude. And the first sign of the stall is the indicator. There's a bus. Pitch. Power. And recover. And lost about 50, or, or 50 feet there. Okay, so here we are. We're uh, 70 knots indicated, 3,000 feet. We're going to bring the power all the way back and see if we can get a stall break. There's uh, 40 knots indicated. Stall, stall warning, but no brake. Airspeed all the way to zero. Get in the buffet, stick is full aft. Yeah, I got that shaking feeling. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just shaking. We could get a, we could get a, uh, I'm descending. Got a little bit of a stall break there. Here we go. Oh, now it's up. Zero indicated. Full aft. I'm just going to keep the wings level with rudder, and I'm in about a 15 ailerons are effective all the, all the way into the stall. At about a 1,500 foot per minute rate of descent, but no no real stall break. As you can see, the VG airplane stalls much slower. When maneuvering, it can turn in a much shorter radius. Time to land. On final approach, both airplanes slow to 60 knots. But the VG airplane can decelerate even more, and the slower approach speed leads to a far shorter landing. Hey, okay, just wiping the power all the way off. Touch it down at 50 knots. Bottom line, if you fly at high elevation airports or short fields or carry heavy loads, VGs can be a major benefit. A Cessna 172 flies just fine without VGs, but it does even better with them. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live. Thanks, Dave. That's uh, quite a flight you got going there.